tomorrow evening at around 645, we do see a cold front start to develop and make its way into our area. If we move down to Florida, that's a completely different story. So snow loafers, you got to wait a little bit longer before you can see your snow cover. Even though it dropped a category, it's still an extremely strong system. Near Quincy and Moline, they're sitting at around 80. And normally at this time of the year, we're seeing temperatures in the 50s and 60s. And just to show you how dry the grass really is, if you go uh, grab a fistful of grass and just run your hands through it, it crumples into absolutely nothing. So if you're going out and about, please do take an umbrella with you just so that you don't get caught in a rain shower that you're not expecting to be caught in. Now once that cold front moves through, we will be seeing our conditions start to clear right back up. Well, the day's been warmer than days past. However, that's not going to stick around for much longer. We'll be seeing cold and windy conditions start to make their way into our area tonight and into tomorrow. We'll be seeing our snow return, but we will be seeing a slight warm up toward the end of the week. Across the board, we're sitting in the mid 30s. Currently, it's 36 in Valparaiso, 35 in Kankakee, but down in Quincy, they're a little bit warmer at around 41. Tonight, we'll be seeing a cold front start to make its way into our area, but we won't be seeing its effect until tomorrow evening. This is at around 8.15 p.m. We'll be sitting at around 16 degrees, so we'll be starting our day off in the 30s, but ending in the teens. So this is a really strong cold front coming our way. Now, once that goes out of our area, that's when we'll be seeing our temperatures start to increase. Now, with this cold front, we will be seeing our wind speeds increase as well. We'll be seeing speeds at around 20 to 25 miles an hour, and that's not even taking into consideration our gusts, which could be up into the 30 mile an hour range. Now, once the cold front moves out of our way, that's when we'll see our wind speeds start to die back down. Tonight, we will be under a winter weather advisory from midnight until 6 p.m. tomorrow. And this winter weather advisory stretches from Porter County up into portions of Wisconsin and Michigan. Now, with this system that will be moving through, we are expected to see snow accumulations at around 2 to 4 inches, but that is subject to, to change as the system moves through. So let's take a look at our future radar. We're seeing uh, our snow will start to develop early in the morning. This is at around 945. Now, this snow will end up developing into a lake effect band, but once that moves out of our area, that's when we'll see clear conditions again. So now we're going to be dropping down into the 20s. This is, will be around 27 degrees. We'll see our snow start to move into our area. Tomorrow we'll see a high of 30. That's in the morning. Then we'll drop down into the, into the teens. We'll still be seeing snow. So we'll take a look at our seven day. Sunday will be at one of our higher temperatures. Then we'll see uh, our temperatures start to decrease until Friday. That's when we'll see a slight warm up. Once more, we'll be in the we'll be in the mid 30s, uh, around 36 degrees. So we'll see a colder period uh, for much of the week until later in the week. That's when we'll see a slight warm up.